Antelope Audio have joined the mic modeling game with their latest series of Edge microphones. With zero latency, excellent build quality, and a super affordable price point, these would make excellent additions to any studio's mic locker. So the three mics that make up the Edge series are the Edge Solo, which is their single capsule large diaphragm condenser, the Edge Duo, a dual membrane large diaphragm condenser, and their latest edition, the Quadro, which features two large dual membrane capsules and a rotating head, perfect for achieving wide stereo imaging. In addition to the physical mics themselves is the constantly expanding software, which allows you to model all of your favorite vintage mics, as well as controlling the polar pattern and much more. Another great thing about the software is that you can track dry and then adjust all of your settings after you've got the perfect take. So today we're going to put these three mics to the test by comparing them individually and then combining them on various sources, as well as checking out the mic modeling software in post. And just to make note of our signal path in this video, all of the mics are running directly into an Antelope Discrete 8 interface straight into Pro Tools. All right, so let's get into some audio examples. I'm going to hand this off to Brian Riley to take us through each individual source. And take back every word you said Even the thoughts that were in your head Don't say goodnight Don't leave me tonight Please, can you take it back? The Ed Solo is a large diaphragm condenser in a cardioid polar pattern and did an excellent job modeling these classic microphones. It represented the open airiness of the 251 and the C12 and the robust low end of the U67. So while Jake was here in the studio, we decided to have him demo the Edge Duo for us as well. So let's hear how he sounds on that. Take back every word you said Even the thoughts that were in your head Don't say goodnight Don't leave me tonight Please, can you take it back? The Edge Duo is a single capsule dual membrane microphone and is able to change polar patterns even after audio is recorded. For these examples, I modeled the C800, the M49, and the U67 on Omni. Jake has a very unique voice, so it was great to be able to switch between different microphones while listening to the performance in real time and hearing what the difference is in the low end of the 67 or the top end of the Sony C800. We also use the Duo on acoustic and clean electric guitar. So let's take a listen to those. Today we also got to demo the latest in the Edge family, the Quadro. So let's hear what it sounds like on a dirty electric guitar. So in this example, I had the top microphone 90 degrees off axis from the bottom. On the top microphone, I had a Berlin 67 and a 4038, and in the bottom, I had a FET 47 and a Berlin 57. 
the Quadjo made it very convenient to combine a condenser and a ribbon microphone in one single package, using the condenser microphone for the attack in the high end and the ribbon microphone for the low end and the warmth of the signal. The Quadjo also allows you to use both of these mics with zero phasing issues. Moving on, we use the Quadro to mic an upright piano. Having the single microphone made it very easy to put a blum line pattern in the middle of the piano to get a very nice wide image. For the final example, we chose to use all three edge microphones on the drum kit. We used the solo on the snare, the duo on the kick drum, and the quadro for the overheads. Guys, thanks so much for checking out the Antelope Audio Edge line of microphones. If you're interested in checking out any of these mics or have any other Antelope Audio questions, feel free to reach out to one of your sales reps or visit us at vintageking.com. Thanks for watching.